Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little Ulta haul. I went to Ulta um, a couple of days ago or probably like over a week ago and I got some new products. So I wanted to go ahead and give them a try with you guys here. So kind of like a first impressions type of video. Um, I do have one product in here that's not from Ulta but I did buy it at Sephora when I got my Fenty Beauty um, stuff so if you haven't seen that video go check it out but I do have one product but I did want to include it in this video just because that's the only thing that I picked up at Sephora. I'll go ahead and try it out with this makeup here so how we're going to be doing it is I'm just going to be pulling out the products. I pretty much have everything for a full face except um, brows mascara and eyeshadows but other than that everything's pretty much in here as what i bought at ulta i did have two products that i had before that i didn't purchase at ulta that day but i did buy them there um another day so we're just gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna start i already moisturized my face and i'm gonna start with putting my hair back of course Sorry if I still sound mormada. I'm still a little sick, so just bear with me. I'm going to start with primer, and I went ahead and picked up the Tatcha, uh, the Silk Canvas Primer. This is for all skin types. I heard such amazing things about this primer, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I just never went to grab it. Unfortunately, there was only the small one. So this is what it looks like right here. This is the mini one. So this is it. I'm going to get my hands on the bigger one as soon as it's available. But it says um, that it's a velvet smoothing balm of pressed silk that primes and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin helping to prevent clogged pores and breakouts this sounds very promising and i swear i've heard everybody and their moms on youtube rave about this product so you know i wanted to get my hands on that especially because i have larger pores especially in this area and since i did have acne before i have like some along here as well so I'm gonna go ahead and my hands are clean and I'm just gonna dab it it feels very silky I'm not sure about your finger because you have to dab your finger in there I'm not sure about that part Maybe it's super sanitary I heard that it came with a little like spatula thing but mine doesn't have one. So maybe just a bigger version? I'm not sure. The next thing that I got was the Ulta Beauty um, Super Blender Large Sponge. And this is latex free. This is a sponge right here. It's just a regular, like a beauty blender type of sponge. I've been trying to use other sponges because my son literally lost like four of my beauty blender sponges he's just so intrigued in getting them and i'm like i'm gonna be paying 24 dollars for a sponge when he loses it so this is a sponge right here i'm gonna go dump it it's right now it seems pretty hard um but i'm gonna go dump it to see how it feels Okay, so it does feel a little bit harder than like the Fenty one. Or it kind of feels the same like the Beauty Blender. Um, it, the shape kind of looks like the Morphe one. This one's definitely, definitely a little bit fatter than other ones I've seen. So I'm going to try it with the foundation that I got. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. I hope this is a good color for me. If not, it's probably going to be a slightly darker. Cruelty free. Goodbye photo flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. So we're going to see. This is only $5, guys. $5. And I've heard actually pretty good things about this foundation. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. And it comes with like a little spatula thing. You guys can see it. 
So I'm just gonna dot this onto my face. And I'm gonna work in sections just because I don't know how it's gonna perform. So off the bat, it it is not um, matte. It doesn't feel matte or drying. It feels a little dewy. I do feel like the sponge is hella big though. I'm gonna do another coat on this side. So I'm finding my baby shower. And this weather in California is playing us. Okay, so right off the bat, the foundation is definitely very watery. It looks, it's very forgiving, so you could work in like big areas and then come back and blend it out. I would say it's a nice medium coverage just because I can still see a little brightness here. Since I'm sick, I, I blow my nose a lot right now. And I can still see a little redness here. And my blemish here is a little peeky through. But it does dry a little, I wouldn't say super matte, but it's not like super dewy if that makes any sense. So now I'm going to go ahead and try out the concealer I got. And this is a Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour. I got mine in the shade C8. I heard really good things about this line. I actually was going to get their foundation because I heard it was like really super full coverage. But I wanted to try one that was more for like every day. Which is why I picked up the photo finish. So this is the concealer right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it's picking it up. Pretty big. This one has how many fluid ounces? Um, 0 0.14 fluid ounce which is... A decent amount. This is a big fat uh, dope foot, kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape, a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I think that's a good color. So off the bat, I don't think I like the sponge. I feel like it's super big. And it's a little hard. So the concealer does seem full coverage. You can no longer see the redness. Which gives it a thumbs up. The next product. Uh, and also Makeup Revolution is a little bit more on the expensive side. In terms of drugstore makeup. But I mean I've heard really good things about it. This is the first product I've tried of them. So we'll see how that works out. The next product is from Brimbo and this is the Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. I actually didn't get this this time around. I actually got this at Walmart um, a few weeks ago. I just never used it. I haven't used it yet. And this is in the color Transparent. And it comes with a little powder puff. It's definitely transparent. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the cap. And just for reference, I have combination skin in the summer. I do have, I feel like I have way more oil. This time around in my pregnancy, I feel like my oils have vanished. <laughs> I'm de I've been definitely pretty dry. I still produce some oil, but it wasn't like before. So I don't know if my skin is changing or if it's just my pregnancy. Or the weather. So I'm just going to go ahead and set everywhere. And it doesn't feel super drying. It's a mattifying, obviously, a mattifying powder. But it doesn't feel super drying. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and try the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder and this is in the matte finish form and this is shine control obviously and I'm gonna try it in the color what's the color just gonna say the color 
Did I throw away the color? I don't even know what color. It doesn't have a color. But this is what it looks like right here. I also got this last time around. So I'm just going to grab a big powder brush and lightly put that on my face. And at the same time, dust away that loose powder. Everything looks pretty good. Even under my eyes, the setting powder looks pretty good, which I am excited. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing is probably eyes. Um, because after this, I don't have... Like I said, I don't have a brow product. So I did get this tinted brow mascara from NYX. I got mine in the color blonde. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And then maybe add some eyeshadow. And I'll be right back so I can apply this tinted brow gel. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows. And I had some shadow, some mascara. The mascara that I used was the Superhero it mascara you could get also get this at ulta but i didn't buy that this time around but anyways i'm gonna let my lashes dry that way i could curl them and then i accidentally did my lower lash line dark because i picked up the wrong color but we're gonna make it work so now i'm gonna go in with the next uh the mascara the brown mascara to see how that holds up so I got mine in the color blonde. They do have a couple of colors. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could tell, but it kind of made this eyebrow a little bit light. Um, but again, it's probably because I have the blonde one. And my eyebrows are super bushy right now, so that's why my hairs are like... But it's definitely a really nice sticky formula where it's going to hold your brows in place. It looks, it, it doesn't seem like it, they're going to go anywhere. Okay, so the next product that I want to talk about is the famous Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. And these are the bronzers right here. So I got mine in the color Deep Bronze. I've been hearing everybody and their moms talk about this on YouTube as well. So I wanted to go ahead and give these a try. So this is what the packaging looks like. Mm, this, one's, this one's pretty good. So this is the color right here. I got mine in the color deep, like I said. And it does come with a little... Um, I don't know what this is. It's not a brush. It's like a little sponge. That's kind of weird for a bronzer. But it comes with this little sponge on the bottom, which I'm not going to use. And it also comes with a mirror, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to dab in there really lightly first because I don't know how how they are. Ooh. Mm, they smell good. So they do have a couple of colors. As you can see, it definitely picked it up in these bronzers. So they blend it out pretty nicely with my foundation. So far, I give this a 10. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go is also from Physicians Formula. And these are their butter blushes. I wanted to give their blushes a try just because obviously if the, the bronzers are amazing, why wouldn't the blushes be? So I got a blush and I got mine in the color vintage rogue so this is a bronzer right here this one's definitely smaller as you can tell by the packaging this one's smaller the blush but it also comes with that little weird spongy thing i don't know why maybe because it's like very buttery so i'm gonna just go ahead and dab ever so lightly well not really into this because it's not very pink it's just very 
light just to give you like a nice wash of color Ooh, and it feels really good it actually looks a little bit darker on my face than on the packaging I'm gonna get a stippling brush and just melt that in. Okay, so the next thing that I got is a highlight. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Me Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Golden Flower Crown, which is this one right here. These are super, these are one of the best highlighters at the drugstore. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so this is definitely more golden. Hence the name, Golden Flower. You could definitely intensify this. This is really pretty. I don't think it's that blinding, but you could definitely make it blindier like by adding more. The next products that I got are all lip products. Oh, and I also picked up the NYX Matte Blotting Papers, which are these right here, just to try them out. The last products that I got are the position, LA Girl Position um, Lip Liners, and I got two colors. I got one in Flesh and Bare. So these are the lip liners right here. So this is Bare, and this is Flesh. Flesh looks like a little bit more pinky and i got an elf lip pump plumping gloss and this is just in the color peach balani <laughs> it's just clear it's nothing major it's right here and then what is this oh i did have an eyelid primer i didn't know i had this i totally forgot but i had an eyelid primer but we could try that out next time this is from morphe and it's translucent but I got the Morphe Lip Gloss in Brilliant. No, sorry. Flower Crown. So let's go ahead and swatch this as well. I do love that now that Ulta has Morphe. I think that's such a great idea. So this is the color right here. And I'm going to give it a nice swatch. Of course, they're nude. So this is the color. It has like a really light into it you guys can probably see it but i'm gonna put it on my lips that way you guys can see it i'm probably gonna use a lighter lash so i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my whole lip the lighter my lips have been so so dry and i'm gonna go in with the morphe um lip gloss I don't have any lip products from Morphe, so this would be my first. But it has like a nice, like a peachy nude undertone. So that's a plus. So last but not least, I got the Continuous Setting Spray from Morphe. I hear nothing but good things about this as well. So I went ahead and picked this up. Ooh, off the bat, the the spray um feels very fine. Dude, I love this spray. Oh my god, I love it. <sighs> that I mentioned, I'm not gonna lie. I love the lip liners. Uh, the only thing I didn't try was the Morphe Eyelid Primer, which I totally forgot it was in there. I thought it was another lip product. That's why I didn't. I forgot. But the only thing, probably the only thing I didn't really like was the sponge because it does feel really, like, stiff. It's not very bouncy. Um, but, I mean... It's alright, you know. But other than that, you guys, I think I love everything I purchased. The Winterball Foundation seems great. I'll probably let you guys know in another video how the foundation works. But the concealer is very 
full coverage for drugstore i feel like it's um, full coverage the next tinted brow gel um i think it's really good it's very like a sticky formula so your eyebrows are not gonna budge they're not gonna go anywhere the wet wear highlighter this is bomb the butter bronzer is really really buttery as well as i feel like mine's broken by the way because it doesn't even close no it's a bummer yeah i think mine's broken but um the blush is really pretty as well it's very like just a nice flush of color in your cheeks honestly i like everything i'm not even gonna lie where am i gonna keep rambling hot the only thing i do need from the drugstore is like a good eyebrow pencil and some eyeshadows but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i absolutely love mostly everything that i purchased at ulta except like i said this beauty sponge just because it is a little bit hard and i'm sorry about my voice um bear with me i've been sick for like ever like i said in my last video but well, uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash haul and i will see you guys in my next video bye